Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Tara and here on my channel I teach you guys how to make homemade skincare products. So if you've seen my past two videos, then you know we are on this alpha hydroxy acid kick on my channel. My first video was all about alpha hydroxy acids, what they are, um, what you need to know when it comes to formulating, what you need to know when it comes to actually using them in your skincare routine. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I highly recommend watching it before you actually formulate with alpha hydroxy acids because as I've been saying, alpha hydroxy acids are tricky to work with. They can be damaging to your skin if you you don't formulate with them right they can be damaging if you use too much of them too quickly so make sure you're doing your research on alpha hydroxy acids before you formulate with them and before you add them into your skincare routine so in my last video I showed you guys how to make a simple toning solution with 5% lactic acid and in that video you actually had to buff the pH level which I know can be kind of confusing and tricky and if you don't have a pH meter you might not want to have to deal with all that so today we are actually going to be making a alpha hydroxy acid toner where you don't have to worry about about buffing the pH level. And we're gonna be using Fruit Acid Complex, also known as Fruit Mix, from Formula Tour Sample Shop. And this is an awesome product because it uses all kinds of different fruit extracts to actually work as an alpha hydroxy acid. So that means it's going to help exfoliate the skin, slough off dead skin cells, potentially help with wrinkles and fine lines, plump up your skin, and even potentially help with blackheads, whiteheads, and acne. So I am gonna keep this toning solution a really simple recipe, and we're gonna be using 5% of the Fruit Mix in the toning solution. That way it's a nice gentle alpha hydroxy acid that anybody can really use even if you have sensitive skin or if you have more uh, you know skin that can take these acids because I personally have really sensitive dry skin and I can only use a like small amount of alpha hydroxy acids at a time but if you can handle more and you've been using alpha hydroxy acids before you can easily bump up the percentage to however much you want. Like I said just make sure you're using caution when using alpha hydroxy acids. You want to make sure you're wearing a sunscreen when using alpha hydroxy acids and you want to make sure you just ease your skin into it and if your skin is having some bad reactions maybe quit using it for a couple days and then ease your way back into it. Anyways let's just get into the formulation so you guys can figure out how to make a alpha hydroxy acid toning solution with the fruit acid complex from a formula tour sample shop. So here's the formulation I have for this fruit acid toner and this is all written out in percents and if you don't know how to transfer a formula written in percents to a weighed out recipe I'll link down in the description box to my video that shows you guys exactly how to do that. This is a really small recipe as you can tell it only includes three ingredients and it's super easy to make. So we're going to be making two ounces of this fruit acid toning solution so let's get started. As always, you're going to need a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams. And then I'm going to be using this 250 milliliter glass beaker to weigh everything out in. I started out with 54.6 grams of distilled water. You could easily substitute this out for aloe vera juice or any kind of hydrosol if you want. And then I followed with a fruit mix from Formula Tour Sample Shop. You can use this at anywhere between 1% to 10%. Like I said, we're going to be using this at 5% and I added in 3 grams. So go ahead and mix everything together. And then I wanna go ahead and show you guys what the pH level of this. So as I said, you don't have to buff the pH level because it naturally falls at about 4.4. So that's why I love working with this fruit mix. It's just so easy to work with it and you don't even have to worry about buffing the pH level. So last but not least, we need to add in our preservative. And I'm using Lewis Lytle SF Complete that I also purchased from Formula Tour Sample Shop. This is my favorite broad spectrum water soluble preservative. You can easily substitute this preservative out for whatever water soluble broad spectrum preservative you want to use. Just make sure you're following the suggested usage rate. And I added in 2.4 grams of the Lewisidal SF Complete. Then I gave everything one last good mix to make sure everything is well combined. So I went ahead and grabbed this 2 ounce glass bottle to store my fruit acid toning solution in and I'll link down below where I purchase these bottles. I purchase them in bulk so it may not be the best option for you to purchase them where I get them so I'll try to find some over on Amazon that are really similar. So go ahead and pour your toning solution into your bottle and you're done. This is how it looks once everything is finished. So I went ahead and created a little custom label for my product as I typically do here on my channel. If you don't know how to make your own labels for your cosmetics, I'll link down below to a video that shows you guys exactly how I do it and how I waterproof them. So if you don't know how to use an alpha hydroxy acid toning solution, what you want to do is first cleanse your face, then grab a cotton round and pour a little bit of the toning solution onto your cotton round and then gently pat it into your skin. I also always recommend to follow with a moisturizer and also make sure you're always wearing a sunscreen when using alpha hydroxy acids for up to 7 days after use. 
So I do hope you guys enjoyed that homemade alpha hydroxy acid toner. Like I said, I used the fruit acid complex, also known as fruit mix, from Formula Tour Sample Shop to make this toning solution. It's super easy to work with. You just add it into some water, hydrosols, or maybe some aloe vera juice, mix it up, add your preservative, and bam, you have a simple alpha hydroxy acid toning solution. So if you want, you can easily bump up the percentage of the fruit mix if you want to use more and if your skin can handle that. But if you're just starting out, using alpha hydroxy acids start with about five percent and then work your way up i do plan on doing some more formulations in the future using some alpha hydroxy acids specifically lactic acid and the fruit mix because i really like those two ingredients glycolic acid seems to just be too uh too much for my skin but you can easily switch out the lactic acid for glycolic acid in any of the formulations that i make so let me know if you have any suggestions for specific products you would like to see me make using alpha hydroxy acids and i do have some more ideas coming in the future so look out for those videos let me know what you think of alpha hydroxy acid do you like them do you hate them um how has your skin reacted to them do you like lactic acid glycolic acid let me know down in the comments below also now that we have reached the end of this video it is time for my patreon shout outs so if you guys didn't know i do have a patreon and over on my patreon you can get early access to videos you can get access to a blog so you can actually read blog posts that go right along with my videos like this so you can easily print out recipes or directions to make products instead of having to re-watch my video over and over again to figure out how to make something. So having access to the blog might make making formulations a lot easier for you. Another thing that I offer over my Patreon is shout outs. So if you subscribe to a specific tier, you'll actually get a shout out at the end of each of my videos and you'll have a link to whatever uh, website you want in my description box. So if you have a website, an Etsy shop, it's a good way to get publicity. And I have four lovely people I need a shout outs. The first person is Herbalist Tracy, who owns Essence of Nature over on Etsy. I did a review on her products in the past. I'll link that video review down in the description box along with a link to her Etsy shop. The next person is Musical Mood Ring who owns Stardust Bath and Body. As of right now when I'm recording this video, her website is not live, but you can type in your email and get notified when the website goes live. Or you can go follow her on Instagram and just keep up with her over there. But next up is Nature's Farm Girl who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She sells all kinds of natural homemade bath and body products, so head on over there and I'm sure you'll find something you like. So the last shout out goes to Kennedy's Essential. You can go to kennedysessentials.net and they sell all kinds of different hair care products over there. So go check them out. I'm sure you'll find some kind of hair care product that you're wanting and her website is super cute. So go check it out. Links down in the description box. One more thing, as I mentioned in every single one of my videos, is I do sell homemade skincare products over on Etsy. I'll link my Etsy shop up here and I'll link it down in the description box. So, you know, it's easy for you guys to find. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of